So I lost my iPod down there somewhere. I was trying to figure out what to put on this magnet, and I finally realized that I could put my toenail clippers there. That's pretty convenient. Alright, I guess there's no backside entrance to this mall. It seems like I've I was, I've seen I saw the whole this is the back maybe the back side and a lot of these storefronts are the only access and they're all pretty much open at not at 10 it's 8 all right I think I'm gonna go to the mall I was debating on walking or bicycling it's a little cold and it's just too cold and it's a boring walk to almost two miles so I'm gonna drive. As you can see, I'm on this gravel. It's not too far from the library. I'm gonna just stick around this library because of the cold. I, this is like, it's Entrada Contenta Center. Oh. Yeah, I'm a little stuck. This gravel is, well, it's the big rock gravel. I'm not far from getting out. Wow. I, yeah, I can make it. I just got to give it more gas. All right, yeah, I got, oh. Is the volume on? Uh, let me check. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to, I'm going to use the map, but I don't really need it. It's, it's like the Santa Fe Shopping Center or something. Okay, yes, it's, it's pretty busy. That's why they suggest I take a right. But I mean, it's not too busy. I just watch, just gotta watch. Oh, oh, oh. There was a lot of smoke. Oh, am I in the second gear? Okay. First gear, second gear. I might have done some damage to the car. Turn left at the traffic light. Yeah, it's about a mile and a half, two miles. Oh! Oh, I can't! Oh, Jesus! Yeah! Oh! oh. Hey, I got beeped at. gonna hit me or something. Yeah, these these northern Mex New Mexico areas love putting bumps and dips because of all the speeders. It's pretty bad. Okay. Okay, catching up. Oh, stoplight. You might think that people are trying to get to work or something. There's such a mad dash. It is only, it is a Thursday. All right, what do we got, a mile to go. Okay, Let's ease into it. Still a bit of a climb. I feel a little bit better about driving just on the laziness aspect, but man, the wear and tear I don't care for. Uh, this doesn't force a right. I'm going straight, I got 0.7 miles. It's a pretty big shopping complex area, and I believe it's open at 8. 
The library doesn't open till 10:30. I don't want to go. Keep right to Rodeo Road. I don't want to go downtown. I'm not too enthused about that. I just want at least one more day, just just to get through the cold. Point four miles. There's a lot of transients around. I think the crime could be pretty bad. Keep right to Rodeo Road. Yeah, that's. Oh, I see. <clears throat> Goes to the community college. Ooh! In one quarter mile. Turn right on Zaffirano Drive, then take the first left. Really? Santa Fe Place. I typed in mall and I got this. I tried to use voice command. And why can't I take it right here? Hmm. Watch for speed bumps, of course. Oh, nobody. I think taking a right now. It doesn't seem to really matter. And I don't want to go in too far. Mm, I don't really see the, the main entrance, but that's fine. I'll walk around. I got time. So this appears to be the military recruit wing <clears throat> with the army, navy, marines. All right, this is the eatery place. It's only one story. <clears throat> this is weird. It's a big. <clears throat> Yeah, they don't have it packed full of tables and chairs here. Very spacious, very unique and cool looking. <laughs> I don't think it gets very busy. Looks like they're turning the self-service tickets for the movie theater. You don't buy any tickets from an actual person. This is the closest to an electric sign I've ever seen for a storefront. You know, I'm kind of surprised more don't use LEDs. It might be a regulation thing. <laughs> Train crossing. This is a neat setup. It's more designed for smaller, smaller traffic, I guess. Maybe upper class. Cause there's a lot of nice things here that could be ruined. They got chili peppers hanging. <laughs> Keep up with the theme of the New Mexico chilies. There's a machine to buy and sell Bitcoin. This site can't be reached. Reload, reload, reload. Check. Huh. Well, if it's working. I guess there's a, supposed to be a way to do it. They need to get the tech guy here. There's a storefront called Dr. Lips and you got a chair right there. Lip augmentation, oh my God. I've never really noticed malls selling newspapers inside. They're doing it here though. What percentage of homeless people do their taxes? I should do a survey for that. A coffee house that opens at 10. 
I don't think you want to be in business with coffee if you plan on opening at that late of an hour. All right, gonna try to make some peanut butter. Now I wish I had two of these, but I only have one. I've been looking. All you gotta do, throw a few peanuts underneath and crush. Oh, they do splatter a little bit. Gonna need something to catch that. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a little messy. It's not like it's a juice <laughs> that squish, that sprays all over. <clears throat> if I had two plates, that's a good start for crushing, okay? Then I put it, put it in the mortar and pestle next. It saves a little work. All right, so it appears that the light is broke. I like, it, it scraped off. I don't even know what it was. LED? The end just scraped right off. I have no flashlight, it's worthless. So I'll keep it on, but I'm gonna take the battery out and everything and just hollow it out so, I don't, so I'm not carrying a worthless piece of weight at least. It won't light up anymore. These mags, they used to keep a bulb, a spare bulb, in this end piece, and I don't see anything. I got a piece of crap here. It's like, mag has lowered their standards and, and cut seriously back. There's nothing in there, so there's no, no replacement. Worthless. I can't remember what my old mag was like, but I don't recall this. This is like just one of like a one-time use type of things, I guess. And I really had to force this out. Those old mag lights, you could pull the, the light bulb right out. Well, I guess I could try to to carry things in it. And I, my my best idea so far are these these needles. A couple of a couple of sewing needles will stay in here. That's about all I can think of. Maybe a little, maybe a little thread. Keep us, keep a little simple sewing kit for emergencies in a way. Right, I'm here at the Best Western, but uh, I want to. I meant to park at the Home Depot, and there's just. I took the wrong turn and I'd have to get a I'd have to drive around some islands or something. I'm gonna try to settle here and I guess climb this wall to get to Home Depot because I don't have any other access. That's the problem with crime around here. They don't make it easy to get between businesses. That's like a number one security uh, attempt is to just block direct access between businesses and only allow you to Exit. There's a cop. Wow. What's the cop just sitting there for? They must have some problems if a cop feels comfortable enough to sit here and kind of wait and watch. That's kind of neat. They have order pickup lockers. So these guys are finally catching up to the internet. Alright, so I went into the cut your own and I got these for free here. Because they really couldn't figure out a price. They're too small. Two pieces of oak cut off at the ends. They'll be they'll make great little uh um garlic squishers. Oh no, I see a warning um for this hotel now. <sighs> I make a wrong turn in there. I did not see it in the hotel parking lot. But you look here. And you got no trespassing, no loitering, no sip. So, yeah, they might come down on me a little hard because they're they're uh, they're enforcing the the parking lot for the hotel uh, viewable from the the Home Depot. Oh man, this is a nice old open parking lot. Okay, I see a sign though. It's probably. Because it's empty. The Home Depot parking, no overnight trucks. Well, that's easy. Jeez. I'm just looking at it all day. I don't know how safe it is down here. It 
these uh, boards, I should probably wipe them off a little bit, try to clean them. They're roughly the same size. I would like to soften the edges. Get some kind of sandpaper and soften that. Just rub them on concrete and be fine. All right, four sausage McMuffins is clearly too much. I guess I just never really tested my limits. I feel too full. I should not be eating anymore. So Walmart has to leave evidence of a of a lot cut here. It looks kind of old. <laughs> They've left it for a long time. Oh, I wish I had my second strap. This feels a little too loose. It's gotten really warm. It's only supposed to get in the 50s as a high, but I can't wear anything. I gotta just stick with a shirt because I'm warming up too much. It's probably gonna get warmer than the prediction. I was about to say, this might be the first Indian school that doesn't have a high security, but it does. Indigenous Language Institute. When a business goes bankrupt like Toys R Us, I see this Cuts R Us, I don't know how visible that is, but it looks like they've taken like the logo very closely and who's going to dispute it if Toys R Us went out of business? Who will dispute it, really? It's, Toys R Us is supposed to be like a non-business now, so they can't, that, so people could just swoop in and kind of like immediately uh, take advantage of that old name separate but equal you got the indian school down here and then the regular high school down here santa fe high school separate but equal oh my mistake it's all the same school it's just a very it's the largest indian school possibly in the nation they don't have any messages to give temporarily but they call themselves home of the braves you know, one thing that seems strange about coffee is it seems to tighten up my stomach and make it so I can't overeat. I don't know if it's an astringent for the stomach or what. So I did, I did drop it. Somebody actually had to yell at me. Wow. Good thing too, I was right in front of a guy who could just yell at me. So now I made it extra tight. Jeez, that would have been terrible because I would have walked. I did not notice it fall. All right, this is the Oddfellows Hall, and there's a cemetery in back. I'm not sure if they fenced off the uh, rear. It looks like the very rear is fenced, but it's hard to say. I'm gonna take a peek. All right, looks like an old pioneer cemetery. They don't really uh, protect it except for the immediate stones. It's kind of interesting what they have done. It's next to a regular cemetery. Somebody got buried here. <clears throat> Old stones. They put walls around a lot of the, the stuff. But yeah, the cemetery, the regular cemetery is just up here and they've they fenced off, they separated the the old one, yeah. 1837, 1905, 1853 to whatever. And they let it overgrow but still stays open. You know, this, this area might be prime. Oh, wow, the cement, the, uh, they make the, oh, that's just marble, but they might make stones over there too. They got marble set up for marble, making marble tables. You can't even, oh, you enter through that little gate to get into here. 1930 to 1935, geez. Five years old, 1857 to 1918. And there's probably more buried out in that field. Yep, there are. Just they've, maybe they had wooden, wooden uh, stones, wooden, whatever you call them. Huh. I didn't notice this when I was walking by, but there's a whole pile of, of these uh, stones too. Um, they look like they're probably just from the uh, Captain Marble, not really a part of the graveyard. All right, and these are some big ground squirrels. They wait to the last minute before they, they go underneath, but 
Let me just say, I'm impressed that they're not pooping immediately around their holes like I found those uh, ground squirrels in Oregon. I don't know where they poop, but uh, those ones in Oregon had big poops all around their, their holes. Most likely it's a Catholic cemetery here. They don't conform to any particular size for gravestones. Cemetery business barely survived. You don't see many um, historical markers like this for a graveyard. They condemned a cemetery? <laughs> what is this, a Jewish school? Uh, not that I know of. Oh, what kind of school is it? Deaf. Oh, I see. <laughs> I didn't see the sign. It's probably up ahead.